Hi pals, welcome back to JSM Promet YouTube channel. I'm Sigma and today I'm going to be showing you guys a simple method to mitigate iCloud activation lock in less than 5 minutes. This tool supports all iOS versions all the way from iOS 12 to iOS 18. So with that being said, let's get the video rolling. The link to download the tool is available in the description box below. Once you download it, you just double click on the, the setup and then you install the tool. It's a pretty straightforward tool. It doesn't have so many features to um, make it complicated. It's just pretty straightforward. Like I said earlier, all you need to do is to copy your serial number and then you register with the link that I'll provide in the description box below. Now you click activate device after you are done with the registration. I have an iPhone X connected. Just click yes. And then you'll be brought to this page. You read the instructions here. You are going to put your device into DFU. So you click next. And now the device is going to be booted into um, recovery mode. Once the device is in recovery mode, let's ensure that our driver is okay. So you open your device manager and check if your driver is okay. So it should be showing like this. If it is okay, if your driver is, you have the correct drivers installed, it should be showing this way. And then you click on start button. And then you hold the, um, the combination keys to put the device into DFU as the tool instructed. So once the device is in DFU, the jailbreak process will begin. This will take some time. Alright, so once the jailbreak process is completed, just click on the close button here and then you'll be brought back to this page. If by any chance your device is not displaying uh, the details or the device is not showing, you just have to reconnect the device and then all you have to do after you are done with the reconnection, you just click on activate device and then you wait for the device to be activated. So it's just pretty straightforward, uh, no technical skill required or no special skills required to use the software it's very simple and like i said earlier this tool doesn't have a lot of features to confuse or to um, make things complicated for some amateurs out there so this is basically untreated bypass and it works for some ipad models which i'll try my best to list all the models in the description box below Alright, so from the tool it says uh, the bypass is successful as you can see. And so that is all for today. You can go ahead and click on review to give a, to leave a review about the software. Alright, so that's all for today. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys in my next video. Till then, peace out.